Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog. It is Sunday morning and I'm just having a very slow morning so far. I think it's about half nine. I'm just trying to sort out yesterday's vlog and I've got various bits of pottering about to do today and then I'm going to do some cooking. So I'll show you what I'm making. Not sure what the weather's going to do today. I think it's been raining in some parts of the UK so I don't know if that's headed for us but I will try and go for a walk at some point but depending on the weather. back in the car because Martin's watching the rugby it's the rugby world cup so there's nowhere quiet indoors for me to vlog so I thought I'd come back in the car I've just been tasting my mashed potato and mashed uh, no I did mashed potato and carrot together to add a bit of extra speed food in for slimming world and then I've done some mashed swede as well and oh, it's all tasting very delicious and I can't wait for dinner time I'm probably going to, for lunch, I'm probably going to have the, I've got some of that veggie vivera kebab meat stuff. So I'm going to cook that up with some peppers, I think, actually. And I'm going to have it with a jacket potato and a little bit of sweet chilli sauce, which I will obviously sin. But I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I think it is going to rain later. I've just looked up the weather forecast. So... I think this afternoon is just going to be sorting and actually I'm, I'm feeling a little bit tired from my adventures yesterday so I think I'm just going to chill out a bit today. I was so happy as well last night because obviously Strictly Come Dancing is back on the telly and I absolutely love it. So I was very excited to watch the, it was like the launch show where you find out who is partnered with like which celebrity is partnered with which uh, strictly professional dancer. So I'd, I'm sometimes I'm like, I don't know who all those celebrities are, but they do it really well. They do like a little intro so you know where, you know, what their background is and why they're a celebrity. So, yeah, it was really good. And I just love watching all the dancing and seeing all the costumes and everything. It was it was a really good programme, really good show, actually. So I was very happy about that. Um, I also meant to say that I haven't had my email yet for our visa application. And I'm a bit disappointed. I thought I would have got it on Friday. I resent my application because if you don't hear within a week, you can resend it. But I actually think it might have been a bank holiday in Spain on Friday. So that could have a bearing on it. But anyway, I'm fingers crossed for um, next week because... Obviously, I don't know if I've said this before, but all the paperwork that we've been collecting and getting together is all time sensitive. So you get your police check, but it only is valid for, I think it's 90 days. No, the police check is now six months, actually. But the medical thing that we got from the Zoom doc online, that's only valid for 90 days. So we are, I think we've got about another month left on it but we need to get our appointment booked in before all these documents start running out otherwise we start right back from the beginning which number one is a complete pain number two costs is going to cost even more money and number three I just I don't know if I can go through it all again it's not easy getting all these different documents there's a lot of processes to go through so yeah, I'm really, I'm not stressed, but it is on my mind and I am, I know tomorrow I'll be checking my email, emails every two seconds to see if I've got, I've got one. And then of course we have to then log on to the website and actually try and make an appointment. And apparently there aren't many at the moment, people are struggling to get them. So that's going to be another thing. But first of all, I need my my code so that I can actually log on. Martin got his last week so 
fingers crossed um and thank you for all your lovely positive thoughts and messages it, it it does help so thank you for that right i'm going to go back inside and i'm going to make my lunch and finish off all my vegetable prep i've got a nice big cauliflower to chop up ready for later and see what other bits of, of veg i've got that need using up that i can uh, put with my lunch as well I'm just sorting out all my books that I need to get rid of some of them. A lot of these are like my Spanish books and I'm probably going to get rid of all of these because I've just got too many. These ones over here I'm going to keep and these ones are like, these are like my puzzle books. So I've got a Spanish word search and then I've got the code one. I've, this is the one I got yesterday. I'm quite into these and I've got a Sudoku puzzle book. So those ones I'm going to keep. And then this is quite a useful little um, Spanish-English dictionary. This one is Martin got me. It's a very old school, very kind of dry grammar book, but it's very useful. This is my big vocab book where I've written down all my vocabulary. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then I've just got a couple of these. I've got a revision guide one. And then this is the one that my Spanish teacher rec recommended for me. I haven't actually done much of it yet, but I'm going to keep that one as well. So that's a good little job sorted out. We spent the rest of the afternoon just unpacking everything, sorting things out, throwing things away, deciding what we wanted, changing our mind. Very productive. Dinner was divine. Sorry, the light's not very good. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.